Our series now of stories about the drought with a closer look at the dire situation at California's largest reservoir. Lake Shasta provides water not only to farmers in the Central Valley, but also to several regional Bay Area water systems. Lake Shasta is located 10 miles outside of Redding, and KTVU's Mark Sarah saw firsthand how the drought has taken a toll on the lake's dwindling water level. This year we're 124 feet down which is a significant loss of a lot of storage. No matter where you look at Lake Shasta, you can see the dramatic bathtub ring, bright orange soil contrasting with the blue water and the green tree line. It is a visual reminder of the severity of California's drought and one not seen on a day-to-day -day basis in places like the Bay Area. But for those who work and live at Lake Shasta, it serves as a daily warning. The past three years, it's been really, really dreadful to see every these days having zero rainfall throughout the months. Don Bader manages the Northern California region for the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation, which controls the water supply flowing downstream. We spoke to him standing on top of Shasta Dam. Why are we that full low? Well, we just went through the worst three years, consecutive years, for, for lack of rainfall, the worst three years of drought we've had up here since this dam's been built. Right now, Lake Shasta is about 124 feet below its maximum level. And take a look at this. This is an original construction tower from when this dam was built in the 1940s. It begins to be visible when the lake drops about 90 feet below its maximum level. Everybody starts to feel the pinch when they start realizing that they're not going to get the normal amount of water that they normally do. Unlike other reservoirs that depend on snow runoff, about 90% of the water flowing into Lake Shasta comes directly from pure rainfall. The ongoing drought means farmers in the Central Valley have now been cut back to just 18% of the water they would get in a normal year. Less water also means less electricity is generated from the five massive generator turbines at the base of the dam, and some lake water must be held back so it can be sent down the Sacramento River, seen here at the Sundial Bridge in Redding, so that migrating salmon can survive. The drought is also impacting tourism, a key driver of the local economy. We're standing underneath the lake. Yeah. Does this bring the drought home for you? Absolutely. It's real? It's unfathomable to be this deep in the water that I used to believe you know, it was so high. Christopher Famat from Pittsburgh and his friends from the Bay Area have come out houseboating here for the past decade. They say seeing is believing. For those that don't leave the Bay Area, um, they're not going to see this. At the Holiday Harbor Marina, workers must actually push the docks out into the receding lake in order to keep their business running. Normally we're back up in our cove, uh, but due to low lake, low lake levels, uh, we do move our docks out. It takes about two weeks to, to move them out. And what is happening here at Lake Shasta also directly impacts water policy in the Bay Area, such as watering restrictions and drought surcharges on your bill. Conservation is a new way of life. Santa Clara Valley Water District Board Chair John Varela says the district district imports about 40% of its water from outside sources, one of them being Lake Shasta. We are dependent on water that we import, which is less than we've received in the past because of the drought. But there is a bright side. Lake Shasta can fill up after just one good year of rainfall. It was last completely full in 2019, and despite some adjustments, the lake is still open to all. We've rebounded from bef this from this before, and here on the lake, even though it's down, there's tons of water out here for people to recreation and, yeah. and to ski and vacation. The main message from the locals here? Conserve water if you can. If you can serve water, it, it helps all of California, not just Lake Shasta. Reporting from Lake Shasta, Mark Sayer, KTVU, Fox 2 News. And as we continue to examine the drought's impact on our community and the response to the water crisis, you can go to our website for more content. Just head off to ktvu.com drought.